three stocks to buy for January 2019. Welcome back everyone. My name is Jeff and in this video I'm going to talk about three stocks uh, I'm going to be looking to buy in January and I'm also going to tell you kind of the methods I'm going to use um, to get in these stocks, kind of what I'm looking for and how I would like to invest or possibly trade these stocks. And guys, make sure to be on the lookout because my three stocks to short video will be coming out tomorrow and I don't know which one I'm more excited about. You know, the stocks to buy or the stocks to short. To be honest with you, I am making more money um, on the short and put option side of the stocks than I am the long right now. But we are also getting some really, really good prices on some very good stocks. So guys, if you're new to the channel, make Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any content and as always please drop me a like if you enjoyed this video now let's get started so the first stock for 2019 guys this is going to be an investment this is a great investment and it is Alibaba ticker symbol BA BA now I have done a lot of coverage on Alibaba on this channel here guys um, it has actually been a while um, since I've made an Alibaba video they have not had a lot of breaking news lately and as most of you know, 2018 has been brutal to Alibaba, but uh, let's just say it like it is, 2018 has been brutal to nearly every big company. And guys, this one is really kind of flying under the radar right now. I think everybody is so focused on Apple and Facebook and uh, Google, Amazon, you know, the big, huge American tech companies. You know, the United States and China is uh, nearing a trade agreement, and Alibaba is not just due a technical breakout, it is also due a fundamental breakout. You know, their earnings reports have been great, um, despite all the problems that China has faced recently. And like I said, right now it is trading at $139 a share. I think that is a steal. This is easily $160 to $170 stock in a healthy market. And really guys, I have no problem maintaining my five-year price target that I made last year. I see Alibaba, you know, trading up to $500 in a few short years. And as the details of this trade agreement start to unfold and a lot of the pressure kind of unwinds off the Chinese market um i see alibaba easily getting into the 200s pretty quickly so don't be asleep at the wheel don't be so focused you know on american tech companies that you're gonna let alibaba slide right past you so the second stock to buy uh, for January, guys, is AT&T, and I have a specific purpose behind this. Now, me personally, um, most of you that watch the channel know I'm a big investor into Verizon Wireless. That's my favorite way to play the telecom sector. You know, some of the things I've historically been disappointed with on in AT&T, guys, is their earnings reports. I always find them to, you know, sometimes they miss and uh, have lowered guidance while Verizon is kind of moving right past them. But this is still a great company and this is a great setup for a swing trade. So right here guys, again, in a healthy market, in a bull market, I think AT&T should be trading around $31, $32 a share. I think it is also very undervalued at these prices. Like I said, I picked up a position in AT&T that I plan to swing trade into the X dividend date. So let's head over there now. So guys, I want you to look at this top line right here. This is the dividend history for AT&T. So you can see that the dividend, uh, the X dividend date for AT&T is on the 9th of January. I've actually uh, mentioned this in a couple of my Facebook chat groups today. And so the dividend actually got raised. It's not paying 50 cents a share. It is now paying 51 cents a share on the quarterly basis or $2.04 yearly. It is around a 7% yield. That is really, really good uh, for a very, very historically great company. So that pretty much explains it, guys. I want to you know, buy and hold AT&T through the ex-dividend date, probably sell on the ex-dividend date or somewhere around that time, uh, depending on what kind of gain I have made. You know, perhaps the market has not recovered by then, in which case I would just hold a little longer um, until I do get a gain. But like I said, the date of record will be uh, the 10th, which would be the next day, and then the payment date would be the 1st of February. So that's kind of my idea, guys. I just want to do a little swing trade um, into the X dividend date, you know, capture some of that dividend action, and also I think we will get a decent return uh, in the meantime. And so the third and final stock for the month of January, guys, is Roku, ticker symbol R-O-K-U. Now listen, I really want to focus over the past three months. Uh, obviously, that is when the market has taken its biggest downturn, but this stock has lost 60% of its value in three months. And listen, Roku was 
killing it on earnings, guys. Roku was doing great on the earnings reports. Uh, they were doing great on guidance. I do know Roku is considered a little bit fundamentally overvalued, and I do not feel the 60% loss has been truly justified. As a matter of fact, I think the case here, guys, is institutional investors dump some of these more overvalued stocks that do not pay a dividend uh, when the market takes a downturn. But this also creates a good opportunity for retail investors like me and you uh, to pick up shares at a really, really reasonable price. Right here, guys, this chart kind of tracks the one-year performance and this stock dipped down uh, pretty much to where it was back in the uh, early summer and late spring. It was trading in the $30, guys, and then it made well over a 100% return trading up to around $76 before, like I said, it got absolutely annihilated uh, really going back to the first week of October. Uh, this is not the kind of stock I would want to go all in on one position with. You know, I would like to break this up into maybe three or four different trades, try to use a zero commission broker uh, so you're not getting beat up with fees. But I think Roku at $30, guys, is a great buy with a ton of upside. And like I said, uh, just keep in mind, Roku knocks it out of the park on earnings and they have great guidance. If you guys would like to see a stock analysis video on Roku, go down to the comment section and mention that and I will add it to my list. So those are the three stocks guys I plan to buy and trade over the next month. Like I said, Alibaba, AT&T, and Roku. Drop me a comment, tell me what you think about these stocks. Please hit the like button. That really helps my channel and it helps me grow. And as always guys, have a great day and thanks for watching the video. Yo.